this here has been over a month in the making. Um, as you'll see in the video here, it started December 25th, which is exactly one month ago from today. Um, I started this journey of my DNA on Ancestry.com. Just note this is not a paid promotion or anything like that. So YouTube, don't flag my video for it. Last night, Christmas Eve, we were exchanging our Pollyanna gifts, and my brother got me an Ancestry DNA kit. So, a little backstory: on Black Friday, we were in Best Buy, and I pointed it out. One of the kits were there, and I'm like, hey, I want to get this. It'd be cool. Not thinking he heard me. His girlfriend mentioned, hey, since Kirk's your Pollyanna, why don't you get it for him? So, what I just did, should have recorded it, but I don't think you guys wanted to see it. I, um... Had to spit in this, like, test tube to a certain point, and there's a liquid, shake it up a little bit, but then I'm going to seal it up and send it away in the to their laboratory where they'll upload the results into my Ancestry account. And I've always wanted to get involved in the looking up the DNA, the family trees and everything. So last night I actually spent... A good amount of time on looking up my family tree. My mom's side of the family, right now I got up until like the 1700s. And my dad's side of the family were up to the early 1800s. And it's it's just crazy what you can see on there. Now, I will, when I get the results back in, they say six to eight weeks could take longer, which I'm guaranteed it's probably gonna take a lot longer since everybody just got these for Christmas. But I'm going to send it out first thing in the morning, and we'll see what happens. So if anybody has used the Ancestry DNA, comment below with what your results were, what you thought, and we'll see what happens in about six weeks. Until then. Alright, so I just got my DNA results back. And I'm shocked. Not really, but it's just crazy the information it found. And then it also, if you're not familiar with the process with Ancestry DNA, they'll take it, they'll send it to their lab, do all their research, and they'll actually match you with cousins and family members out there. And one way I know it's true, my one cousin, she has an account on here set up but she had her last name first and her first name last why i have no clue but it said we're 100 percent cousins which is true and this person that i've been in contact with in the dc metro area he's like a second cousin to me i guess on my dad's father's side of the family and it linked up saying we're second cousins, which that's awesome. Basically talking and meeting family that never knew about. All right, so with my results, um, it starts back in the 1700s. And basically, I am 56% England, Wales, and Northwestern Europe. 19% Ireland and Scotland. 18% Germanic Europe, 5% France. And this one really threw me. I thought it would be a little bit higher, but only 2% Native American because my mom's grandpa or uncle is actually the chief of our Indian tribe. We have certification cards that state that we are Native American and probably one of the palest Native Americans out there, but there's that. So if any of you done a family tree, found some crazy interesting stuff out, comment below, let me know. Um, I mean currently there's about 200 people in my family tree. Now that's all I got for today. I know I've been MIA the past couple weeks, it's just been extremely crazy, a lot of stuff going on, but I promise I got some great content coming for you soon. It's going to be fun and hope you guys join the ride and just remember always trust the process
Go Sixers! Until next time, friends, comment, like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you again soon.